Hey guys, welcome back to the Zimmerman life. I know we've been gone for four months, but we are back now and we're back with a big one because we are going to be showing you a house tour. <laughs> we're gonna take you through our house. We've had four months to decorate it and we're gonna walk you through each room and show you what we've done with the place. So if you're interested in seeing our home, then keep watching. <laughs> so we are starting in the front foyer of the house and you can see there's this gorgeous bench over here and we installed these hooks. This actually fell down a couple of days ago <laughs> when I hung Kale's heavy winter coat on here, it fell. But now it's, it's back, it's secure. And behind these doors is a mudroom closet. And this is a really messy closet right now, but that's okay. We are, this is a work in progress. We're trying to figure out what to store in here, but for now we just have the dog's food. We have some extra toiletries and just yeah random things here and there our vacuum is up there <laughs> one thing i really like about this room is this these things that hold up your brooms and sweeper things i think you get them at the dollar store but they are super handy you just pull it out and then to get them back in you just you just push them back in and it holds it and it gets it off of the floor which is super super convenient and now going further into the room this is our main foyer space and you'll notice throughout our whole house we have touches here and there and all of these decorative things we got from garage sales. One really cool thing about Calgary is the fact that they have these garage sale parades and Kayla and I have been frequenting as many of them as possible. And in those garage sales we have picked up things like this urn, these uh, wooden things, what do you call them, like trays. <laughs> This is from our friends Louisa and Danielle. They gifted us a growler a while back and we don't fill it with beer, we just have it as a decorative item. But this is all the way from Brazil, so that's super cool. <laughs> I mentioned that we picked up this urn from a garage sale and we have some sticks in here because we have a friend named Ian who seems very triggered by sticks and urns and that's one of the reasons why I made sure that we had something like this in our house to bug him first and foremost. but also because I like the look of it. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. Do you think sticks and urns, is that a, is that a yay or an a? Let us know. <laughs> and up here is this beautiful cross stitch that Kale's mother made for us. This is um, two deer and it says welcome at the top. And throughout our house, you'll find artwork that is unique, not stuff that you'll find in Ikea, or any other home goods store because we wanted to make sure that all the decorative pieces in our home spoke to us. And I'm excited to show you that in this house. Over here is a doormat that Kale's sister gifted to us as a housewarming gift. And it has a Z on there for Zimmerman. We really like that a lot. And that is this space over here. And when you walk into the house a little bit, you'll see these alcoves. And I think what they're meant for is Things like this, like urns with sticks in them, they're meant to go into these hollows because there's a light up there that if you turn it on, it shines down on whatever artwork you want to put in here. But what Kayla and I want to do with this space instead is to turn it into a little mini bookshelf or library. So we still need to install some shelves into here so that we can put these books up there. And a cool thing about these books is that we pick them up at a Calgary book fair at super cheap prices. When we moved here from Ontario, we had to get rid of a lot of our book collection. And so it was really nice to build up that collection again with some classics and some new stuff. Here is the other alcove on the other side. We also found these books about Alberta and Calgary, these history coffee table books. And I've been reading through them and honestly, the history of Alberta and Calgary is fascinating. And through here is the first bathroom on the main floor, or the only bathroom on the main floor. And it's your typical three-piece bathroom. We have a sink, we have a toilet, or is it a two-piece? Yeah, <laughs> sorry, this is your typical two-piece bathroom. And here I am, hello. And in this bathroom, it's pretty bare, except for these two pieces of artwork. And let's talk about this one first. This was an artwork that we got from a garage sale that I really liked because of the, the blue turquoise tones. And this artist, Barbara Milne, is a local Calgary artist. And that's another thing you'll find in our house are art pieces from local Calgary artists, local, local Alberta artists. 
We went out of our way to pick up decorative pieces that spoke to the city and the town that we live in. But up here is a painting of Kale's High School and this is Stadium High. If you have seen the movie 10 Things I Hate About You, that is the school that that movie was filmed in. So a few of you might recognize it, but that is also the high school Kale went to. And it looks like Harry Potter's castle. <laughs> if you ever drive by it, which is worth the drive if you're ever in Seattle, check out this school. It is really, really gothic looking. It looks like a castle. And here is the main living space, and it is way more open than our Midland house, which is actually something that Kayla and I really like because it just feels more airy and light. So I'll walk you through the different spaces, starting with the formal living room area. These pieces, this two-seater and that armchair, were furniture that someone that lived in a adjacent neighborhood was getting rid of so we got a really good deal on these because these are from urban barn and furniture from urban barn is typically really expensive but we got a really great deal on them and this piece was brand new from urban barn and we absolutely love this couch but all three together look so good and in the center of everything is this beautiful fireplace that Kayla and I really enjoy having, especially during the winter months when it was super cold. This guy puts off a ton of heat and actually a funny story about this fireplace. One day in the dead of winter, on one of the coldest days, our furnace broke. And so this fireplace was our only source of heat. So I was sitting right over here on my laptop trying to do work, but also freezing my butt off. <laughs> So we were super thankful to have something like this, but it also looks so nice right in the middle of our living room. This is my favorite corner of the room. And I love to sit here and read. I have a few of the books that I'm reading right over here. This armchair is so comfortable. These pillows are from Kale's mom and she cross-stitched this. Look at all the details in this pillow. You can see that it has our names in it, has Canada in there, Ontario. It's such a personal pillow that she put so much work into and we proudly displayed here because we absolutely love it. But another thing that she gifted us was this pillow from Etsy that is a, a silhouette of a Basset Hound and it says Dempsey for our beautiful dog Dempsey. And this lamp is special. We had this in the Midland house. The stand is an antique that Kale's parents gave to us and they gifted us this lampshade to go with it. And I think it looks perfect for this corner, especially paired with these paintings that are surrounding it. They're not actual paintings, they're prints of paintings, but these are by some local Alberta artists. And we picked up these paintings from garage sales, but when I researched them a little bit further, it turns out that these are both worth a lot of money, which is awesome. But that aside, I think it looks really nice in this corner and they complement that lampshade really, really well. Because the light in this space is so nice, this is where I have the majority of my plants. And I have one here. This is like a succulent plant. I have one there. I have a little guy over here. I have one over here. And this guy is living his best life over here. And these are all plants that I picked up from Ikea but they are doing so good and I'm so proud of them. <laughs> Any other plant moms out there that have beautiful little plants? Let me know in the comments. Also, let me know in the comments which plants are beginner friendly because these are doing really well, but only time will tell whether or not they'll survive. <laughs> this guy is unfurling a new leaf. This is so exciting. <laughs> A lot of these decorative pieces we picked up at garage sales or at Value Village. This is by a local Calgary potter, so it's super special. Here is another print of a photo by a Calgary artist. And Kale and I have a debate about what this object is. <laughs> I think it's a milk can, but Kale thinks it's something else. What do you think it is, Kale? I think that's a trash can. <laughs> I don't know. Let us know in the comments if you think this is a milk can or a trash can. I just like the splitting mall behind it that's in the background. I think that should be the thing that's in the foreground is the splitting mall and the wood pile. What's a splitting mall? It's like an, it's an X, chopping mall. And here is a framed photo that our friend Chris took of his time in Venice. He likes to travel 
and he loves photography. So this is a picture of one of those canals in Venice and someone having a gondola ride, but he had this framed and printed and he gifted it to us in the Midland house and it survived the trek all the way here to Calgary and it's being proudly displayed over here. And we, we really like it. Yeah, I think it looks good on that gray wall there. <laughs> and a funny story about this didgeridoo, my friend Diane, she traveled to Africa one time and she was asking us, what, what should I bring back for you guys? And we were joking around and we just threw out, oh, just grab us a didgeridoo as a joke. But little did we know that she would stumble upon a didgeridoo in Africa in one of the first days of her trip. And she brought it back for us. She carried this thing, this super heavy thing, the whole trip. <laughs> but we are super glad that she brought it. We, we still need to hang it up though. It's been uh, chilling out there in this corner for a while. You're looking at me? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so Kayla's supposed to, hang this and who knows when it'll be hung, but. Where is it gonna, where is it to be hung? I was thinking this wall over here, it might look really nice, but. Yeah, above the window there. It would pair with the red from this lampshade really nicely, I think. And the pillow. And the pillow, yeah. There's like pops of red here. So I think this guy would look really nice in and that the corner. And lettuce that's growing outside. Oh, you can't really see it, but I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying. So I talked about the couches. There's Gibson. If you're wondering where Dempsey is, we'll show you her in a minute. Um, she's around, she's around. But we talked about the couches, but we did not talk about these beautiful coffee tables. And we picked these up from Structube. And when we were looking at coffee tables, Kale and I were in agreement about one thing. We did not want it to be big and cumbersome. So when we saw this, we thought this is perfect because not only are they small and compact, but they actually come apart. So you can arrange them however way you want. This came in three pieces, one and two. The third piece is right over here. And this is the side table for this couch over here, but I think it still looks really nice. Gibson approves. And over here, this is Gibson's toy box. And the funny thing about this is no matter how many times we pick up his random toys on the floor and put them in here, he will go out of his way to pull a toy out <laughs> and just drop it right here on the floor next to it. So we try our best to keep things neat, but when you have a one-year-old golden, you can only do the best that you can, right Gibbs? So not only throughout this whole tour will you see toys randomly on the floor, but you'll also probably see tufts of fur, like those sage coach, what do you call them? Those like dry hay things. Tumbleweed? Yeah, you'll probably see fur tumbleweeds oh, yeah. blowing across our floor. <laughs> but we're dog parents, so what can you do? Yep, there's some random toys over here. Which brings us to this part of the house. So this is our beautiful dining room area that we rarely use. <laughs> And that's because we eat mostly on the kitchen island back there, but we really love this part of the house anyways because it's so bright and it looks so neat all the time because we never eat here. <laughs> um, this table is from the Midland house. I got a really good deal on this. My friend, the real estate company that she was working for was having a huge sale on the furniture that they use to stage houses. So we got a really good deal on this table and it's here now in Calgary. The chairs are from Urban Barn and this vessel with more sticks in it, that's from Urban Barn, and this aloe plant is from Ikea. But we just love this room so much because of the huge windows, and when you open the windows, we get a really nice cross breeze coming through. And we have uh, Gibson and Dempsey's beds over here, because Gibson's the bigger dog, this is his bed, and that's Dempsey's bed, but we find most of the time Dempsey sleeps on this bed. <laughs> and Gibson has to squish in this one. So we should really get two big mattresses. This area reminds me of the Great Gatsby <laughs> in the late afternoon when the sunlight is just kind of streaming in here. And yeah. And there's a cross breeze growing when the, wind, when the windows are open. It's like, it's like the Great Gatsby. It's a really Living elegant- out there on West Egg. <laughs> it's a really elegant part of our house. Over here is our gorgeous kitchen, which I love. If you remember our Midland house, everything was its own room with walls and this it's so open we love how open it is this big island in the middle this is where Kayla and I have our meals those two chairs are from Urban Barn but it makes cleanup after meals so easy doesn't it, it does yeah yep. yeah yeah and I love this kitchen I love making dinners and lunches in here it's a nice big kitchen yeah I'm usually kind of doing my chopping here and then I can turn right around 
over to the kitchen sink. <laughs> yeah, cooking in here is such a joy because of this giant work surface. And you have all the counters behind you as well. And all these cabinets. Storage was a huge issue in our Midland house, but here we have almost too many cabinets. We don't know what we're yeah. what to fill them with. There's cabinets and shelves and drawers that aren't being used. Like open the, the door behind you. Let's see what's in it. <laughs> we have so much storage. We don't know what to do with it, but we're okay with that. We're okay with empty cabinets. As long as we have that space, it's nice to have. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Over half the space definitely is not being used in this one. <laughs> So you'll find that in this house, it's kind of a theme. We have a lot of space, not a lot of stuff, but a lot of space. <laughs> One of our big goals with this house was keeping it as neat as possible. So that meant keeping things, as many things as we can off of the counters. So when we were thinking about knives, usually there's that big knife block that you store knives in. We didn't want that, but we found a great solution in the kitchen stores. And this is what we came up with. <laughs> These are knives that we picked up from Costco, but they are magnetic. And this block here is also magnetic, which means that they stick on there really, really good. <laughs> and that keeps the knives off of the counters, which is nice, but it also makes for an interesting piece of art on the walls too. It's like yeah. a good conversational piece. Cause you can have them go parallel with one another, or you can have mm -hmm. them go kind of like intersecting congruent, yep. you can make different angles, you can make an acute angle or an obtuse <laughs> angle, so. Yeah, I never thought of it about it that <laughs> way, but okay. We had some neighbors over and they're vegan and they brought over these vegan cupcakes. Let me open this up here. Maybe you can help me out here. Yeah, too. Crave is kind of like the like the local cupcake bakery. or the bakery area uh, yeah. or in, in Calgary, I guess. So yeah, they brought these over. And these are vegan cupcakes. They only have their vegan cupcake in a chocolate flavor. So that's all they brought. <laughs> but chocolate is my favorite flavor. So I was super grateful that they did that. Yeah. They are delicious. But then Highly recommend. Yesterday, Knowing that we were having some vegans over, I had some avocados and tomatoes, and I made like a I made a vegan bruschetta. And bruschetta. So, so knowing that they're vegan, <laughs> and we're having people over, I got some avocados and some tomatoes, got some basil from the garden, and I made a vegan bruschetta. Yeah, it was uh, delicious. And instead of having little pieces of bread, um, I crisped up some potatoes. Yeah. And had the tomatoes and everything, the whole mixture on there. So. And we got that recipe from this cookbook, Oh She Glows. And this was gifted to us from my friend Jenny, who can't eat gluten, she can't eat dairy, but she does eat meat. She's not a vegetarian. And she gifted me this book for my birthday. So yeah, a lot of great recipes in here. Thank you, Jenny, if you're watching. And over here is a cute little dishwashing station. I got this guy from Winners and I made this foaming hand soap. I don't know how long I've had this, but I've had it for a long time and I just love it so much. It's from the Re Drummond household collection. She loves Bassets, she has a couple of Bassets. And that's what this is, this is a Basset Hound. Did you order that yourself or was that gifted to you? No, I found it somewhere. I think I found it in Winners and I, I just had to. Oh, okay, okay. But it's from the recollection. Gotcha. And this is my favorite part of the kitchen. This is our coffee station. We cannot live without coffee. And so this Keurig here, um, there's a story behind it. We had a different Keurig before. And after a couple of days, it stopped working on us. So what did you do, Kale? Yeah, like I, we bought a brand new Keurig when we moved in here in January. Mm -hmm. And then it stopped working. And so I gave them a call. Um, they said, okay, we can replace it, the one that you have, but it's gonna take six or eight weeks, or we can send out right away another one. And so we opted for the um, cafe version where you can make some lattes or cappuccinos over here on the side. Yeah, this is a frother here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we've been enjoying the cappuccinos and lattes that this machine makes, highly recommend. And over here are our K-cups, and over here is some loose coffee grinds and these reusable K-cups that you put that into here, you make a delicious cup of coffee. This is a growler from the Flying Monkeys Brewery, which is a brewery in Barrie, Ontario. This is an homage to our Ontario roots, but yeah. Kale uses it not for beer. What do you use it for? I've been using it to water the plants out on the deck. So. Yeah. <laughs> so this is a glorified watering can. Yeah. Yep. It's really cool though. I really like the design. I know we're spending a lot of the time in the kitchen, but there's a lot of good stuff here, guys. I'm sorry, but here is a pantry 
and this is new to us. We have never had a pantry before. And so when we saw this, we're like, oh my gosh, this is so cool. Yeah. Even more storage. And here is where we keep our noodles. <laughs> I really like ramen. So we got a ton of shin. It's called shin is this brand. We have a lot of that. We have a lot of macaroni and cheese. Chips, this is my favorite chip, smart food. So good. We need more nuts. You have to get, get some more Kirkland nuts. But yeah, this is another big storage space that we don't use all of it, but it's handy to have. And this is new too. We started storing our garlic and onions in just a box here. And they've been lasting so much longer than what, how we used to store them. We used to store them in like a cupboard in the darkness without any air. So if you're wondering about how to store onions and garlic, have them in a closet where the, it's open to the air and it's dark because they last a really long time. <laughs> yeah, this is this is such a big pantry. It's like a walk-in pantry. I could there's rice close you off in here if I wanted to. And it's yep. actually a good hiding place. Sometimes we play hide and go seek with Gibson, and we'll throw uh, one of his toys off, and then we'll go and hide in here and shut the door, and he'll have a he'll have a time trying to find us. This is a big bag of chocolate from Costco, and my pickle. I love pickles. I like how you're highlighting all the chips and chocolate and the mac and People cheese. People might be curious about what we eat. <laughs> Here's a big thing. Two big things of artichoke hearts artichoke that hearts. we bought a, a while back and Kale has not broken into yet, but we love artichokes. That's another big favorite of ours. And this is a huge fridge that we really enjoy. When we first moved in, the ice machine wasn't working, and I thought that this was broken, but Kale fixed it. That was so nice that you fixed that. And so what, what was the problem with it? Do you remember? Uh, there was just extra ice that was uh, frozen on the maker part where it comes out, so like no ice was coming out the, the chute um, that it's <laughs> able to. Like instead of just having this uh, op like open and having it thaw out, I just took like the heat gun that we have downstairs that we seal the bath bombs with, and I. I heated the ice in there and it um, it all melted within like 10 minutes and then, yep. and then we have ice. I'm should thirsty we, right now. Should we show them what's in our fridge? A what's in our fridge tour. What's in our fridge? We have some <laughs> nudes in here, some vodka sodas. Those are um, so good. Some Rainier. So good. Anybody in the Northwest will know what I'm talking about here for Rainier. Rainier yeah, beer. that is a mountain beer. If you guys watch Twilight, which was set in Washington, Bella's dad drinks Rainier beer. <laughs> And I was happy when we moved to Western Canada that they actually had this because they didn't have this in Ontario. And then here's a local beer, a local brewery out of Canmore. Grumpy um, Bear. Grumpy Bear. My favorite is the Rudding Elk Red. Yeah. So many animals. Yeah. I like that it has to do with like the three sisters and everything though. So. Yeah. yeah. There's so more, can... more drinks over here. <laughs> That's our fridge. <laughs> oh, and I got some club soda because I'm going to be making some, uh, hope to be making some mojitos tonight from our mint plant outside. And then here is kind of a catch-all corner where we have a lot of our open mail or mail that needs to still be opened. Your boombox thing, or what is this called? A speaker? Portable Bluetooth speakers, yeah. Yeah. This one stays in the wall, and then this one I, I bring down with me to the packing room or outside on the deck or the garage. And this guy, this bunny, was given to us free at a garage sale. He's a little piggy bank, piggy, no, bunny bank, bunny bank. <laughs> I plan on painting him white and then integrating him with my, the rest of my decor. But for now, he's just chilling out over here, collecting our, our change. Through this door is our studio. We're not gonna take you downstairs to show you that just yet, but we're gonna go up these stairs. <laughs> Let's follow Kale up. Hey guys, this is editing Jerrica here and I was editing this house tour and I can't believe how much we chatted through this whole thing. Well, the result is I have over an hour of house tour that I don't think anyone is gonna watch all the way through if I were to upload it in its entirety. So what I'm going to do instead is to break this up into three parts. Yeah, three parts. <laughs> so this is the first part, part one, where we just show you our main floor. And I really hope that you guys like this. And if you do, leave a comment, give it a thumbs up. You guys know the deal. And basically, I'm just really happy to be back and filming again on The Zimmerman Life because as much as I love to talk about my soap business, Kill and I just love sharing our lives in general. And we have a lot of exciting things coming up too. So please subscribe so that you guys are up to date on all of that and you get to catch up on the latest news on us Zimmermans and Gibson and Dempsey. 
But anyways, I'm going to wrap this video up because it's already over 25 minutes long and I don't want to keep you guys any longer. Stay tuned for the next video which is going to be part two, the second floor. And as for our upload schedule, Kayla and I are thinking around two videos a week. We'll see how we do. <laughs> Thank you to everyone who stayed subscribed during this really long absence. Half a year is a long time to go without uploading on a channel, we know, but this is something that we definitely want to put time into. So your engagement, comments, likes, all of that means so much to us. Thank you guys, and we will see you in the next one. Bye.